everyone, welcome back to the Night Howlers. You are watching Big Red Wolf Screen, and today we are playing Adopt Me in Roblox. Big Alpha has figured something out we're really excited about. Hopefully, it is true. Let's go over to News Round. He found the unofficial Adopt Me drop date for this Halloween update. It says Roblox Adopt Me is launching its Halloween update on 27 October, and it will run until 10 November. Five brand new spooky pets will be headed to the game, including the Skeleton T-Rex and Cerebus the Three-Headed Dog. There will also be two new mini-games, which will reward players with candy that can be traded in for spooky, limited-time in-game rewards. Adopt Me dropped its autumn update on 14 October and introduced seasonal trees, pumpkins, and a new hot spring to the game. All right, let's take this information. Wow, I just got away from my ghost car. We're going to do a little show and tell with the old Halloween items that have came out. We're going to take you through the Haunted Mansion. I'm so excited to showcase this to you. And don't forget, watch all the way till the end because we have a really, really exciting new giveaway to be announced and you're definitely not going to want to miss it. Now before last year's Halloween update, if you played, it took place over here in the playground. This playground was actually a graveyard and one of the mini games was there was graves all set up here and you knocked on a haunted mansion like door and then you watched the ghosts. They all went into different graves and you tried to pick the graves that did not have the ghost. And for each grave that you picked that didn't have the ghost there, you got candy. Now, if you picked a grave with a ghost, I believe you got what? Three tries? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got three tries, and then the game was over. There was also another mini game, which is why I low key believe this is a legit article because there was too many games last year. And that took place at the school. The school transformed into a haunted school, and you would go through, and I believe there was four ghosts to find, and you would blast those ghosts. And you would get candies for that as well. You'd be collecting the candies to then turn in to, to a haunted house. There in the haunted house, there was so many items to choose from. And we've already seen where our haunted house is going to be. Actually, I'll run back there now. I'm waiting until nighttime because the showcase of the past Halloween items is going to look so much better at night. You can actually only use this broom at night anyway. But Big Alpha and a Little Teague have quite the collection of past Halloween pets in a really cool form. I don't want to give it away, but Big Alpha is riding around on one of them. Here we have the Haunted Windmill. I actually do know what this is. Big Alpha said in the last video, hey, it's a Haunted Windmill. Um, so anyway, it is boarded up right now, but I am hoping if this is legitimate that tomorrow the boards are coming off and we're gonna get to see what is inside of this windmill and Big Alpha did try to glitch in there. He successfully glitched in there, but you couldn't see anything. So I feel like they were expecting that. Also, it said about a skeleton T-Rex. With that said, I don't think you're gonna see the return of a shadow dragon. I know there's a lot of speculation about a skeleton dragon. Big Alpha says he does not think there is going to be a skeleton dragon at all. So, womp, womp, womp. There is a frost dragon. There is the shadow dragon. That is the only... 1,000 Robux pets right now in Adopt Me. We're going to wait till nighttime, like I said, and then we're going to start this showcase. All right, finally, nighttime. I can show you about riding on the broom. And here comes the Night Hollers family to showcase their pets. All right, let me get off that broom. That is the broom showcase. Really, really exciting. We actually had a trade for that because that came from the very first Halloween update. Teague is riding on a Neon Evil Uni. This came from last year's Halloween update. Big Alpha is riding on a Neon Bat Dragon. Very cool. <laughs> All right, well, Teague's also showing the Neon Bat Dragon. In the first Halloween update, 
pets were not released yet. So there was no pets for that one, but this ghost vehicle was one of the things that you could obtain from turning in your candies. And Big Alpha has another one. This is the tombstone, as you can see. You can still see him holding it there, but once you press on it, it turns you completely invisible. He can also click out of that tombstone, so now you can't see the tombstone at all. And you basically just see his name tag and the evil uni running around in the neon form. Teague is showcasing here the neon zombie buffalo. And with that, there is only one more Halloween pet to showcase. There it is. Teague has the shadow dragon in the neon form. Its name is Glowstick. Very, very awesome neon and coveted in the game. This is something that you don't see very often. Big Alpha has the Vampire Stroller. We traded for this. I probably overpaid for it. I don't even remember what I traded for it, but I remember it was a very, very lot because you don't see these traded very often. And it's basically all in what will someone is willing to trade for them, and I really wanted it, and so we got it. Here is the Candy Cannon. This is another big coveted item. I also have one of those that I can show you as well. Here is our candy cannons. Each of us do have one. We're very blessed in that aspect. And it shoots candy corn. You run around, you pick up the candy corn pieces, and you get lollipops. The more you eat, the faster you go. I believe these lollipops are actually more effective in making you faster than the hyperspeed potions themselves. That's just my own personal opinion and from my own experience, but here you can only carry five at a time, but there's eating five of them. As you can see, I'm going pretty fast, and you can shoot those and collect as many as you want if you own it. If you get into the server with someone, if they're nice enough, they'll go ahead um, and shoot it for you. Big Alpha always does that, and usually once people f figure out that he has it and he's not willing to trade it, they'll just keep coming up to him and asking him if he will shoot candy for them so they can keep eating it and speeding around town. It's faster than the vehicles. Oh, all right, we have new items to showcase. This is a pumpkin, and it is not the throwing pumpkin. I do know for a fact that I have a throwing pumpkin, so hold on. Let me type this one in. Here is the throwing pumpkin. This came from last year's Halloween update. The pumpkin that they are holding came from the first year's Halloween update. So not last year, but the year before that. Once you shake this, it makes you headless. It just makes your head disappear. Where the tombstone makes your whole body disappear, this is going to essentially turn you into the headless horseman if you so choose to be it. You can get a rideable horse, you can make your head disappear, or ride on a different pet and act like the headless horseman. Did anyone make their head disappear with that? Oh, you actually have to take your hair off to make your head completely disappear. But that's how that works. Teague right now, she has the zombie buffalo plush. This was also from the year before last update. And then we got the actual zombie buffalo. Well played, Adopt Me, for doing that. Here we have the crossbow grappling hook. This came from last year's Halloween update. There was so many cool toys. This was another one. Super spooky and kooky black balloon from the update. I love that. You can actually float with it. I also kind of think a propeller. Was there a... a yeah, it was definitely a propeller. Oh, all right. Teek says that she has it out. She believes that it was this one. Does it work? Can you press it? Wee! <laughs> all right, all right, we got it. You're up in the trees now. Okay, I think other than, and like I said, this was the ghost car. Very cool. Do you love the ghost car? Oh, no, there's the pumpkin carriage. This was the vehicle that they put out last year. So we got the ghost vehicle from the first Halloween update the year before last. The pumpkin carriage from last year. Can't wait to see if they add a vehicle. And if you picked up on it, from this picture on News Round, you've seen the pumpkin carriage. That is not released. So if this is correct, this is definitely going to be one of the new items that we're going to see. And I love it. It is all carved out and your pet goes inside of the pumpkin. All right. Does anyone have anything else to showcase? 
All right, he thinks that's it. <laughs> all right, she said no. Even though we're all sitting right here together, she chose to type that in. With that being said, who is ready to embark on the spookiest adopt me journey that you've ever been on? I knew she was going to say that. Me. Yay! All right. I am going in full VR mode. I'm going to zoom in. All you're going to see is my cursor. And let's get... Where's Big Alpha? He is not excited about this. So, you have to prove him wrong. You have to blow this video up. A million views. 30,000 likes. Let's get it done. Here we go. I spent so much time on this. You have no idea. My heart and soul is into this haunted mansion. And Teague... Proposed the question before we start, if I was going to disassemble this, if I was going to sell it and try to get a lot of my money back, the answer is no. My plans are, I am going to add to this every year. That's my plans. All right, here we go. Here is the beginning. Check, peep, all the knives on the wall. Super scary. I, I'm scared right now. Literally, my stomach's in knots. Here is the new Red Fox statue. This spooky chair where our hostess will be sitting. Let's go through. This is the graveyard of past eggs. R.I.P. Safari egg, jungle egg, farm egg, and the Aussie egg. <laughs> Please bring back the safari egg. All right. And we have all these little areas for jump scares. I really want to do a virtual walkthrough of this and... Get a lot of people together and do some jump scares. I think that'd be so cool. Sleep here, if you dare. This is the Vampire's Lounge with a little jump scare action over here. This is Teague's first time going through there. All right. I'm so... Oh, God. Uh, and here we have the Loch Ness Monster. I know where he came from. You're going to figure it out. Keep watching to figure out where this Loch Ness Monster came from. We absolutely, we have to do a VR walkthrough of this where we just jump out and get some friends together. All right, this is the haunted bedroom. This is where the Wicked Witch lives, or I guess the Loch Ness Monster, but he didn't come from here. I know where he came from. Here we have... A haunted crib in a haunted bed with some haunted pet food. Everything's haunted in here. Everything's spooky. Next, we have the Pumpkin King's lair. And he's missing, so he's hiding somewhere in the haunted mansion. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's this? <laughs> this is the Pumpkin King. <laughs> You have to blow this video up. You have to blow it up so big that we want to do this VR walkthrough. I already want to do it. You just have to convince him. All right, here we go. This is the final floor of the Haunted Mansion. It says, Happy Halloween. It actually says, Smile Halloween, because I couldn't fit happy. There wasn't enough, but thank you. I thought that was really clever. Here we can conjure our own potions. The hyperspeed potion will take one minute to complete, but don't eat the poison apple while you're waiting. And next we have... Oh, that was Teague? I thought that was you. She was the Pumpkin King. Next we have the Loch Ness Monster's Lair. The... Oh, and now he's glitched in there. Don't drink the poison tea either. Everything's everything's poison. Oh, look at me. I can grab a teacup. Oh, no. Don't drink it. Red, put it down. Oh, gosh. All right. You can change over here into your swim trunks if you dare. If you dare to get yeah. into the hot lagoon. Oh, my gosh. I have to get out of here. Penguin who got lost on vacation and ended up in the haunted house up there in the hot springs. 
All right, let's go ahead and announce our next giveaway. I'm not going to drink the poison tea. You'll never fool me like that. And what is that? <gasps> They're threatening to tear my house down if I don't give them candy. And we have... <gasps> I thought we were gonna have a vampire, but we definitely don't. I don't I don't know where these costumes go to. I guess if this video blows up enough, we'll do a VR walkthrough and we'll have to find out. But that's all we have for this video. This is our next giveaway. We are gonna be giving away 500 Robux to three random people that are in our group. But how we're gonna choose, you do have to comment down below with your Roblox username. You do have to be a part of the Night Howlers family group. You have to be subscribed to our channel and you have to like this video. You have to do all those steps. So subscribe to the channel, like the video, be a part of the Roblox group, and comment down below with your Roblox username. The only way we can do the payout is if you're in the group. So of course that's a given. You have to be in the group. We are going to be giving away this and choosing the winners on Friday. So if it's a Robux pet, hopefully you'll be able to buy it. I don't know how much they're going to be, but like I said, we're going to be choosing three winners and they're each going to be getting 500 Robux each. So this is a really great giveaway. Blow this video up. We love you all so much. Thanks for 2,000 subs. We cannot wait for the Adopt Me Halloween update. We hope you play along with us. Tune back into the channel. Watch our coverage on it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you real soon. Bye.